Easy now. Something's not right. What troubles you, old man? Please, I beg you. How many are there? I must know. How many what? The stones. Every time I count them, the answer is different. First twenty, then twenty-one. The fair folk made a madman of me. Rock cannot appear and disappear. I shall count them. Run round and round. Pick up your skirts. Still drag your robes through the dirt. They doff the caps and steal my sense. I cannot leave until I know the true number. I cannot... Your stone sentries. I have counted them. And? How many lords and ladies come to dance a jig? There are twenty-one. I am as sure as I can be. See? Never the same. Never the same. Please, count them again. You must. To save my wits. I cannot get the same number twice. Never the same! Never the same! Cobweb cloaks and magpie hats! Now there are 26. How can this be? See? Never the same. Never the same! Please, count them again. You must. To save my wits. This is madness. They change each time. Don't close your eyes, or they'll steal the glinting flint. Scrabble it away. Perhaps there are 23. Ha! They have bewitched you too. Twirl and spin and dance and grin. Pyrwhack, it comes to fight your shin. Who came crawling from the moor like a fat black rabbit without any legs? I see you, glisten little imp. 27, 21, 23, 24, 22, 22, 22. I, I don't know how to help you. It seems as if the stones appear and disappear at will. You should not stay here. Leave. Leave before they claim you. The Screamer toy with me. Casting his magics in England. That stone. Was it here before? Where is my mad friend? Damn this cursed place. Yeah! <laughs> 
it up. Mmm, I feel great. in Nominis sui gloriam. Solum modo in paradiso. Pax eterna es una via ad... <laughs>
I must be careful now. Focus, we have this! Your end is now!
travel widely to become wise, for all things are too easy at home, and the ignorant who sit among wise men will be mocked. If the bees bother you, boy, maybe do not stand so close to their hive. But I need honey. Just a little. It's for my friend. It's all she likes to eat. She's so gentle and kind, but if she doesn't get her honey, I don't know what will happen. I've tried poking it with a stick, but it riots them up something chronic. My friend loves honey. She has a very sweet tooth. <laughs> I only want to scrobble a little. They have plenty to share. You got the honey? Oh, thank you. Oh, that looks delicious. Leave it on that rock and she'll be right along. is just over there by the tree. Hurry before she comes. with me. She'll be here soon. Winifred looked after me ever since mother and father died. She's my best friend. The other children tease me. Sometimes they throw stones to shoo me away and call me the grubby watcher in the woods. Winifred saved my life. I was curled up on the grass praying that God would take me too. And she scared the wolves away. Winifred, I got you honey. Winifred, my bestest of bears. Any day spent with you is my favorite day. So today is my new favorite day. This kind stranger got you some honey. What do we say? Thank you. All that honey must have given you quite a thirst. Are you really all right out here on your own, little one? Silly. I'm not alone with the very best of bears by my side. Goodbye, and thank you. Come on, Winifred. Shall we walk to the lake? Maybe we can splash in the reeds. Strange fellowship, but then friendship can often be found in unexpected places.
What happened, little one? Mummy's ring! I just took it out to look at it, and a mean bird snatched them off me. What were you doing with your mother's ring? Someone borrowed it, and she asked me to get it back. But now it's up in that tree, and I can't climb that! There is the bird's nest. Maybe I could hit the nest with... Something fell from the nest. Here you! Take your hands off my property! That ring is mine! Give it back, I say! Are you the girl's mother? Stepmother! My husband gave me that ring! My stepdaughter stole it from me. She's been a plague to me ever since I married her father. When all I've tried to show her is kindness. She says you borrowed it from her mother. Her mother is dead. Oh, perhaps it did belong to her once. I didn't know. Your new husband gave you his dead wife's ring. We don't have much. I will not spurn a gift from a good heart. He's a fine man, and I love him dear. But his daughter will never love me. Not while she still pretends her mother's alive. Let the girl have the ring. It is all she has of her mother. Do this, and new bonds may grow between you in time. You are wise, stranger. It is hard to give it up, but it belongs to her more rightfully than I. Take it to her, please. I have your mother's ring. Be careful in future. We should hold tight to what is precious. I saw you talking to my stepmother down there. Did she try to take it off you? What a warty old dragon. She agreed that you should have it. Be kind to her, little girl. She's trying her best for you. I suppose. I'll speak to mother about it. Farewell, then. Keep up, you 
you shit! We have this! <laughs> Here in the ancient kingdom of Kent, the Jutes have brought me to where his fire burns through traces of the Nephilim. Here the Lord speaks to me again. He warns of betrayals, of struggles, of the trials of the first ones. I do not always understand his message. If he is warning me, it is because he believes I am worthy. He says there is one angel still trapped. She who must be released, or joined. Must I find her?
feel something. Light and heat. 